Well, hello, Glue Troopers. Max and Max's Models here. Hope you're having a grand day. So, while I was in the Tarbit today, I was looking at some of the little 170 second scale Hellcats I've got, and I realized that I have several different uh, landing gear paint schemes on them. Some are white, which is my preferred one because it adds some contrast, helps the airplane to pop as it's sitting on the shelf. And some are the arguably, depending on who's operating the airplane and when, more accurate gray landing gears or even the dark blue ones. But they're not the most visually appealing, which brings up the question of when you're building a model, what are you going for? Technical accuracy or curb appeal? And of course, since the raison d'etre of this channel is make it what you want it to be, it's entirely a personal thing. Sometimes I'm a little more prone to go with what looks good than what's 100% accurate, but it just kind of depends on what I'm making and why. Just a little thought. So I got a comment from a glue trooper about uh, not doing the figures that come with some of the models that I made. I'm not a good figure painter, so I sometimes tend to shy away from that. But I was thinking, you know what, he is right. There are some interesting looking figures, especially the Araby High. So I started working on those today. Although that uh, Hasegawa 132nd scale fighter pilot looks pretty generic. I don't think those are Navy flying togs he's wearing. Looks a little more like high altitude Air Force, but whatever. It's... I'm not even going to put him in the airplane. It's just a matter of uh, painting him up for a little bit of practice. I also finished off the Modus 50 caliber for the Jeep today, and I thought about making a side display with it. And when I was all done, I, I put it in the Jeep. My wife liked it. I said, yeah, put it in the Jeep. But uh, I realized I had it facing the wrong way or facing backwards. I was like, oh, crap. And although it does technically traverse, it's in there pretty snug. I'm afraid of breaking it if I move it. She goes, well, wait a minute. Didn't you say with all the bullet holes in the Jeep that he was running away from the Germans? And I'm like, yeah, well, wouldn't the gun have been firing backwards to shoot at them as they ran away? And I'm like, hoo-hoo, yeah, the wife steps in and saves the day. With that wrapped up, I got started on the Retriever rocket. And I want to do a nice job on this. So I went ahead and puttied up all of the seven uh, fuel tanks that surround it and taped them off, puttied, removed the tape, sanded it down, primed it, painted it. And it's not hard. Everything fits really well for the most part. A little trouble lining up the fuselage, but a little uh, sanding and putty took care of that. But in this case, I just wanted those seams to go away. And they have a pretty good overall fit, so it's not too much of a problem. Uh, my biggest mistake were a few little painting errors. I did prime it, but sometimes with that lacquer, just one, you've got you know, to dust it on there because one shot too many and she runs. But uh, they're actually starting to look pretty good. I, I wanted to give it some contrast. So I did paint one of them red, and it just looked terrible. So I had to strip all the paint off of that. We all know how much fun that is, and get it back to white again. Uh, and got working on the fuselage and got that primed. And tomorrow I'm hoping maybe to get lucky, I might be able to finish it. But a lot of the parts were pre-painted: uh, the engine parts, the radars, all that stuff, and the little man in the bubble suit. Uh, you'll you'll see when we get down there, but. You'll see that as the kit progresses, but it's a really nice, straightforward kit. And one of the things I like about it is this is one that it's no problem making it what you want to be. I might use the decals that came with it, and I'm largely following the color guide, but I'm going to make it probably U.S. Air Force or something like that. Uh, you know, we'll see when I get done what I feel like, but I'm going to have some fun with it. I've always wanted to think it's a cool looking ship. Um, one thing that said to paint the radar dish bronze and i have bronze paint but that doesn't look very bronzy to me maybe i'm thinking more of a gold i also laid out that little caravel from Lindbergh i found yesterday so that when i hit to a point where i have to stop and wait for something to harden it'll give me something to play with in the meantime if i'm not reading my book and <laughs> you know you need a model to distract you from the model you're building so that's really all I have for today. Just a short report. I uh, had a good time and uh, and really enjoyed myself. The kit's come along nice. And uh, that's it for the day, guys. You take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you later. And as always, model on.